Hi, welcome back to Enjoy the Pig. I'm Pat Randolph, and we're continuing our series today on Kansas City Barbecue. And today we're going to talk about um, a new and very, very popular restaurant in Kansas City called Q39. Q39 is located near 39th and Southwest Boulevard, also known as Summit, uh, in Kansas City, Missouri. Um, Q39 is... Uh, uh, was born of some very successful people who entered barbecue competitions all over the country, uh, won prizes, I believe, and uh, has been serving food to different people since 2002. However, this restaurant is a new restaurant um, and uh, is immensely popular. Um, uh, I, quite frankly, uh, went to review this restaurant today. with a, I took a friend with me because I already had a prejudice. I wasn't going to like the restaurant. Um, and... Uh, I got to tell you, I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, in some aspects, in some aspects, I was really disappointed, but we'll talk about that uh, in this review. Um, Q39 is neither white nor black Kansas City barbecue. It is a uh, it is a mixture of barbecue styles. Um, uh, the ribs are are from a different type of pig than you would typically get. Uh, with uh, Kansas City Barbecue, a, uh, I don't know if they're baby back ribs exactly, but they're certainly a smaller rib, very meaty. Uh, they cook their all of their meats in a Southern Pride smoker. Now, Southern Pride is the gold standard of commercial smokers, but it is just that. It's a commercial smoker. It is not a pit. Uh, it is um, uh, their, their meats are cooked uh, with a precision uh, that uh, is uh, guaranteed to make them tender, not dried out, uh, and soulless. And that, unfortunately, to a large degree, is how I found the food. Um, let's talk for a moment about their specialty. Well, let's start with the different thing. The restaurant itself. Okay, the restaurant itself is about a 5,000-square-foot restaurant. It's a very nice restaurant, not pretentious, as I was expecting it to be. Uh, well laid out. Uh, they do have table service from waiters who, uh, you know, are, are very competent. Although they would appear to, they're not very friendly. This is, you know, these are these are uh, this is kind of a kind of like a chain restaurant, like a higher end chain restaurant, uh, like a Nick and Jake's or something like that that serves barbecue. Uh, the prices don't reflect that, but the uh, but the kind of the 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 whole layout kind of does. And I understand how. People from the suburbs, not from Kansas City, who just want to have the food and don't want to have anything else, will go there. And uh, and that's what the restaurant was filled with. I went today. We went at the end of lunch rush. It was about 1.30 uh, on a Wednesday. Um, the uh, restaurant consisted of uh, demographically of, of two black people and about 100 white people. Um, it had uh, about half the people I could identify as being from out of town. And, uh, and another 25% I could identify as being not from Kansas City proper. So they would be either from the deep suburbs or from St. Joseph or Lawrence or somewhere near Kansas City, but not Kansas City. Um, the, uh, the menu itself was interesting because they had a variety of items that are offered uh, at, at restaurants as specialties. They had a lot of them. For example, uh, Ozark Barbecue's Onion Loaf, they presented something called Onion Straws. Uh, and it was, it was, it was good. Those onions were good. Uh, not as good as Ozark barbecue's onion loaf, but you couldn't possibly be because that's their specialty. Uh, but it was good and I haven't seen it prepared, uh, elsewhere. Uh, they, uh, I, I understand their, their baked beans are not good, so I didn't order them, but they did have a very good white bean, uh, uh, dish, um, kind of a casserole, uh, which they served with an appetizer that we ordered, uh, which was very good. Um, Unfortunately, uh, they had uh, a specialty. Their specialty was um, uh, their br beef brisket, uh, and I got to tell you, the beef brisket five stars, and and it, and it and it deserves every bit of it. Their beef brisket is uh, is is is, is a is a very large beef brisket, long strips of meat uh, prepared, like, giving you on your table um, uh, with some sort of rub. Um, and uh, it was tender, it was juicy, it was flawless. Um, uh, and it did have a flavor that, was, that I, would, I would say is unique to Q39. Uh, but beyond that, every other menu item uh, was presented with no rub. It, it was glazed, which is not Kansas City style. 
Uh, it was a molasses-based sauce. It tasted like a Kraft barbecue sauce, maybe like a bullseye or a Sweet Baby Ray's, which would be not Kansas City style. Their pork is pulled pork, which is not Kansas City style. Uh, their sandwiches are topped with uh, salads, which is not Kansas City style. Uh, their, um, uh, their sauce is tragic. It's terrible. Not just bad. I mean, uh, I have bought 78 bottles of craft barbecue, 78 cent bottles of craft barbecue sauce on the 4th of July weekend that tasted as good as their sauce. It, it is not good. And, uh, um, but their meats are so well cooked. It doesn't make up for it, but it, it does, uh, it does make you believe that they're trying and they've won awards all over the country. Primarily, you know, uh, primarily Western Mississippi. They won uh, uh, a couple barbecue competitions in, uh, uh, in uh, they won the Kansas City American Royal a few times. They've won or come close to winning other times. Uh, they've won a couple other uh, Kansas City barbecue competitions. They've won some competitions in Fort Worth, Texas. They've won some competitions in Vegas. They've won the Sam's Club competition in Canton, Ohio, which is a almost as big as the American Royal uh, multiple times. Uh, and, uh, uh, and, and at a barbecue competition, we are, of course, uh, you know, having to uh, purposely putting some similarities in our meats to see how well they're prepared. And they do do a fantastic job of preparation. Uh, their chicken uh, was a quarter chicken breast is what I got, a, a breast and a wing. Uh, and uh, as part of the plate, we ordered called the judge's plate. Uh, judge's plate was not expensive. It was about $15. And it came with uh, about three ounces of brisket, uh, a quarter chicken, and uh, two ribs and or th two or three ribs i can't remember and the uh and one side in which case we ordered fries uh their fries are really just i mean they're nothing they're 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 a, they're a cisco prepackaged frozen fry they're nothing they're not uh they they're seasoned uh they're not bad but they're not nothing to write home about and they you know uh, they're 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 you know they're just presenting the dish and they're lukewarm and they're you know it's it's a, it's a fry um i absolutely no originality with it and unfortunately, that that spoke for a lot of the food at Q39. It was uh, just kind of soulless, uh, but uh, none of it was bad. Um, and uh, so I can't really say that it was, and I can't really say that Q39 was was had any really major flaws except for the sauce, which was absolutely horrifically bad. Uh, but um, uh, they were nice, and the prices were excellent. I this is. You know, this is a problem that Kansas City Barbecue has, has, has hoisted on itself. Bryant's is 25 bucks for a combo and a half fries and a Coke. That's way too much. And that's borne out by the fact that my total bill at this sit-down, fancy, very popular restaurant where I ate as much food as I could possibly eat with another person was $41 with tip. It, that is a good price. And uh, and uh, for, for what you got, uh, we got... Uh, we got beef, we got pork belly, we got pork ribs, we got chicken, uh, we got uh, we got essentially uh, three sides because our, our our appetizer had two sides with it, uh, and uh, and I, 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 and two cokes, and we were we were still out the door, including tip, forty one dollars. So that's very hard to beat. Uh, now um, uh, I have gone through a diatribe uh, many times about how black barbecue is true barbecue in Kansas City. Uh, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's unique in its presentation. It's unique in its flavor. Uh, it, it, it's a, it's a, it, it feels good going down your stomach. Uh, and unfortunately Q39 has none of these attributes. Uh, it is, it is not a culinary experience. It is a place where you can get some really good, well-cooked meats. And, uh, so, uh, with the exception of the brief, brief, that uh, beef brisket, which, you're gonna order. I recommend you order that if you can get it without the slaw on the top, on the toasted bun, and the bad fries. Just get the beef brisket. In fact, don't even get it with sauce. Just eat the beef brisket. Um, uh, so Q39 is gonna get a review of three and a half stars for me. Uh, it gets uh, four stars for the location, uh, the presentation. It's the cleanest barbecue restaurant I've ever eaten at, with the exception of chain restaurants like Smoky Bones and stuff. Um, it's, uh, and it's still laid out a lot like a Smoky Bones, quite frankly. I mean, it's, you know, it's nothing to write home about, but it is clean. It is neat. They are fast. I mean, they, they do a lot of things right there. Uh, it's well managed. Um, you know, you can look back in the kitchen and you can see that they have a Southern pride smoker, which is a, again, you know, if I, if I had a million dollars and could buy all the best equipment, 
hire just average sous chefs to work in my kitchen and get a wait staff recycled for many closed plaza restaurants. This is what you get. And it's exactly what it is. Um, uh, it's, uh, it, it's good. Um, but I will say this. People who say it's fantastic are not barbecue people. And it's really not a, a, a bar. You know, and so I, I have to just say that up front. I mean, is it better than a Chili's or an Applebee's? Yeah. Is it better than Nick and Jake's? No, it's about the same. And that's about what you're getting. Um, you're getting meat prepared in a different way, but you're still getting meat. Uh, and it, you, and it's, it's, you know, with some sides and it's not, uh, anything spectacular. Um, uh, I would say that, uh, uh, the, the meats, uh, compare favorably with any barbecue restaurant in, in, in the nation. Uh, uh they, there's nothing wrong with them. Uh, their chicken was tender. It was not overcooked. It was not greasy. Um, and it was a white, it was a breast. So I was impressed by that. Uh, there, um, but again, it had no rub on it. It had very little skin on it and it had a sauce that was, I, it, 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 it was there killing me with a sauce. It was so bad. I don't understand this sauce, but, but they, but they do, um, they do, they do do a good job with, uh, uh, several aspects of, 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 a, of a dining experience. Uh, I went away from there full. I felt like the food was good and it was a good, it was good value for the money. So, excuse me. So that's, uh, that is Q39, located in Kansas City, Missouri. Um, again, menu pricing is very fair. Uh, they're open uh, regular hours. I think they're open until 9 o'clock at night on weeknights. Uh, and uh, there's no downside to this restaurant. It's all good. Um, so I can't say don't go there. But I will say, uh, if you're from out of town or you want to Kansas City dine, uh, barbecue experience, that's not this. I mean... I mean, I, I imagine, imagine if I said to you, uh, here's the best hamburger in the world, but I'm going to serve it. I'm going to serve it to you at an Applebee's. That's what this is, you know? And so ju just, just, just understand that if you're going there. Um, uh, but again, nothing bad about the place really, except for the sauce. I have to say, uh, they've really done, they've really done the old college try. Uh, I was impressed with a number of elements of the restaurant. Uh, so Q39 gets three and a half total stars. Would have gotten four stars if they had decent sauce, but that sauce is not good. So uh, uh, three and a half stars, Q39. Uh, try it out. Uh, see what. See if you agree with me. Uh, Enjoy the pig is supported by Uber. If you use, if you sign up for Uber and use the Uber code located on the screen, uh, Enjoy the pig will get a bonus of two hundred dollars, and you'll get a bonus of two hundred dollars. So uh, and, and support Enjoy the pig and earn some extra money for yourself. Uh, I'm Pat, and thanks for watching.